Hey there, my little gem stars. Welcome to your November 2015 RuneScope with me. My name is Amanda. A couple of things I wanted to let you know about. I uh, just wanted to remind you that the final class, uh, the Rune class that I do, um, it's completely online. The final one for 2015 uh, will be starting November 2nd and that will run through December 7th. So if you're watching this at the end of October, you probably still have a few days to sign up for that. The deadline is 12 p.m. Eastern time on October 29th. So if you wanna sign up for that, just hit me up at the email address in the video or below this video in the details section. Um, and, and we can get you signed up for that. Um, also wanted to mention, I will be appearing on a internet radio show uh, that will be uh, airing November 11th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. And it's uh, Solar Temple Radio on Blog Talk. So it will be posted thereafter if you can't make it, but I will, uh, you know, at the date of airing, it will be up after that and available for you to listen to. Um, I will post the video, the link to the video or the link to the session here in the video, probably a little I. So if you just tap that little info button, it will uh, show you the link uh, for that. It will also be, I'll put it down below as well. Um, to open that details section below where all my stuff is, um, just tap the little arrow beneath the video and that opens that section for you. Um, but let's jump in and see what November holds for Gemini. Ooh, a lot to say to Gemini. As I always remind you, do keep in mind these are general readings, Gemini. Um, not all these messages will pertain to you as such. Uh, those that do not are meant for other Geminis that are watching this video. Um, you can watch your rising sign if you would like. That will also contain uh, some messages for you. If you want a reading though that is completely focused on you, your journey, where you're at, where you should go, um, you would need to get a private session. I do live readings on Skype. They're $65 for 30 minutes. So just uh, drop me a line at the email address uh, in the video, again, or below the video, it's runescopes 4 you at gmail.com. That's the number four and the letter U. You can contact me there for any reason, <laughs> okay? Whether you want a reading, to sign up for the class, um, you know, that's, that is how I operate um, on everything. So just drop me a line there. Um, this can be a good time to get a reading if you want to beat the rush for New Year's. I normally book up really quickly in January. So just to let you know, um, if you want to beat the rush, uh, you'd want to set up a reading for November or December. I also have holiday gift certificates available if you would like to give a reading to a loved one. But let's see, Gemini, a lot going on here in November. Whew. Um, well, the first thing we've got as far as your focus with the Seven of Wands... And by the way, I'm using the Witch's Tarot this month by Ellen Cannon Reed and Martin Reed. So this is the Seven of Rods in this. So the first thing that comes up is you may have to defend your position on something, Gemini. And it may be difficult to not get upset or angry with someone uh, because seven of rods can be a card of, um, you can talk about an energy where someone is, you know, being very defensive. They're being put on the defensive. But I mean, you know, that doesn't always mean that you are, you know, sometimes we have to defend and stand up for ourselves a right action. So, um, Whatever this is, Gemini, you feel very, like, you are in your viewpoint about it. Like, this is the way I feel about it. Now, this may have to do, I feel like this is around, you know, this is either a family friend or a, a family member. Um, this does seem to be centered around family, and I hope this doesn't go down to Thanksgiving dinner. Some of you, uh, you know, it very well might if you're if you're in the States and you celebrate that. 
Um, you know, when you got all those people coming together, all those different personalities, you know, there can be some disruptions. Now, this may not be centered around you, Gemini. Uh, you know, this could be, uh, you know, a conflict between two other people. Maybe you're put in the middle because you're having Thanksgiving at your house and you're like, do I invite both of these people? If I do, it's going to be, you know. If you think that two people might maybe should not be in the same environment, then I think that you are right in November, Gemini. So if you have control over that aspect, if, if, if everyone is coming to your home, you may have to choose whether or not to include someone, which is too bad, but, um, and you know what? It may be a couple. It may be like, you know, your son and his wife. Um, you know, maybe he's fine, but she's a, just a nightmare or vice, you know, or vice versa. Maybe it's your daughter and her husband or, you know, an aunt and uncle or, you know, your mom and your stepdad, you know, I, it, it, there's something about, um, there's a female energy that, you know, for most of you, and again, in these general readings, it doesn't have to be female, but there does seem to be someone who is just very, just a negative energy and they cause disruption wherever they go. Now, for some of you, this could be somebody with the moon card in reverse. This could be somebody who is struggling with an addiction issue. So this makes them act very extreme. Um, you know, uh, it could cause them to, to do uh, negative things or be deceitful or steal things. They're showing me silverware. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if some of you have had this person at a dinner before and they stole silverware or something from the house, but um, the thing is though, if, if you're like, okay, you can come, but you can't breathe. It's very difficult and, and, and harsh to say to someone, you know, you, you are invited, but you can't bring your spouse or, um, you know, so if you do have to do that, you know, um, Gemini, just 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 be careful with the way you say it. Sometimes you are air signs, and you 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 can use your words as swords sometimes. Because <laughs> here you are, coming up as the Prince of Swords, um, you know, and, and you can sometimes use your words as swords and not say things in the nicest way. Sometimes it just comes out in a very blunt manner, and uh, people are you know hurt by what you say sometimes, even if that's not your intention. Um, so it is going to be a situation that you're going to have that they're saying kid gloves, handle it with kid gloves, because maybe you've recently gotten, you know, improved your relationship with, um, uh, you know, with your actual relative and, um, you know, or, or with this person who's married to this person, for those of you that that's the way it works out and you don't want to damage that. But at the same time, you know, you know, this person is going to cause an argument or a disruption because um, he or she doesn't get along with other members of the family or maybe one male in particular, or maybe it's you, Gemini. Maybe you're just like, I cannot stand that person and I cannot hold my tongue if that person is here. So, yeah, there is. It is kind of a month where even if you, you know, don't invite this person there's still going to be conflict because you're going to have to tell someone else you can't, you know, bring this person or, um, or you're gonna have to tell this person themselves, you know, you're not, you can't come because you always cause problems or you steal things. I don't trust you. Uh, and really Gemini, I don't feel that you should go back on this again. Uh, this is a right, righteous for most of you, a righteous decision in that, you know, no, I don't want to include this person. Now, for some of you, this may not have anything to do with, uh, you know, uh, a holiday or a dinner or anything like that. It could just be that you are getting news that um, something has been hidden from you, that someone is in a situation with a person like this. So maybe this is somebody that, you know, you knew something was kind of off, but you didn't really know like how bad there may be some sort of disruption around um you know, this person or a couple uh, that is close to you. And, um, you know, I do feel like, though, this is an old situation, Gemini. This is not new. This is something that's been going on for, for quite a while. Um, now, the moon card can also talk about somebody who has 
um, you know, some sort of mental disorder and they're not seeking the proper treatment for it. They're not going to therapy. You know, they're not, and I'm not somebody that advises really that we all, uh, you know, go get medicated. I don't think that's solution. That's the solution to everything. But for some people, you know, a disease is a disease and the treatment is the treatment and, and you have to take medication for a disease. And, um, so, I, I mean, I feel like maybe there's somebody in your midst who's not doing that who really should be, um, you know, coupled with therapy, coupled with, um, you know, taking steps to balance things because there's an imbalance. There's a chemical imbalance. There's, uh, you know, and that's what causes this person to act in extremes. So, I am sorry to tell you, Gemini, there does seem to be fireworks around the family. But again, this doesn't have to cover the whole month. It just seems to be something that is maybe you know it's going to become an issue and you're dreading it. Um, or, you know, things come out and you are concerned for someone that is with this person. Or maybe it is this person that is your family member who's having uh, an addiction issue or who is not treating an is a, a mental disorder in the correct way and um, you're concerned about them. Now the help that is going to be available to you, Gemini, is with the Prince of Swords. Again, this was coming up as your help position. You also have Weird and, and, and Degas up here or Deeg, whichever you prefer. Probably neither because you probably don't even know what I'm talking about. Some of you might. If you've taken my class, you do. Um, <laughs> The Prince of Swords is saying you should speak your truth. Again, going back to the Seven of Rods, you should stand up to, you know, if something's at your house, you have a right to say what you're going to allow in your house and who you're going to allow in your house. And um, if it's somebody that you have already given the benefit of the doubt and they deceived you, they stole from you, they caused problems, they made other people uncomfortable, you do not have to welcome that person back in your home. And I feel like, you know, that is what you're saying. It's just a matter of, you know, saying it in a certain way. And I think it all kind of comes down to the delivery. Um, the delivery, Gemini. Um, or maybe you're just talking to this person. You're trying to convince them, hey, you need to get help with this. You can't keep, you know, treating people this way. You, you're, you're acting out and it's hurting people. Um, why don't we discuss some options? Uh, you know, so yeah, I mean, it all is in how you deliver the message, Gemini. So think about it. You're watching this, if you're watching this early, you know, early in November or especially on the October side, just think about this situation because you probably, I'm sure most of you know who this is. Um, just think about it. Um, take a few days and think about it. Um, and kind of there's an innocence with the Prince of Swords, you know, so it could be that you kind of say, you know, I, um, it's not just me. You know, it's not, I, I don't want anyone else to feel uncomfortable. I want you to feel comfortable, but it seems like I can't do both. So, you know, I, I, you know, and I, I really want you here, but don't bring that loser, you know, <laughs> or don't bring that troublemaker. Uh, don't bring that girlfriend that's going to steal my good silver. Um, <laughs> wow. Now, some of you, this may be, uh, this may have something to do with property or even a probate or a will. Gemini, that may come up as well because um, you also have the rune of legalities coming up. This is also the rune of the harvest, though, and karma. So, but what can't be changed? You've got that, Yera. You've also got Thurisas and the star in reversed. So, I, what I feel these are saying, and let me, I'm trying, I need to show these cards better because it really is a pretty cool deck. Um, things are happening but they're happening more slowly, especially if you have any kind of legal case going on. If this dispute with family is over inheritance or property, um, things are moving forward with that and you actually have a lot of protection and a lot of good mojo around with that. Um, 
and luck on your side with things coming into balance even though you may not see it with the star card you may feel like oh my god i give i just give up on on ever on this situation ever getting better um but i think that even when you are feeling that way there's going to be something that comes along to rejuvenate your spirits really look out for messages in november gemini i feel like especially some of you are going to get messages from birds um our spirit guides and even our loved ones who have crossed over or our ancestors can communicate with us through animals and nature so definitely um I, for some of you it's going to be through birds um and I, I really kind of look up what that means if you just kind of, uh, you know, there's animal medicine that the Native Americans believed in. And if you look up that uh, information, whenever you an animal crosses your path, you'll find that it's almost always pertinent to the situation that you're dealing with or, or it gives you some kind of helpful um, direction. And um, if it's not applying to a situation you're already dealing with, it's going to be a future situation coming in. So pay attention to the signs and your surroundings, Gemini, which you probably normally do. Air signs are generally pretty observant. Um, smells also. Pay attention to smells. You may know when an ancestor or a relative is around trying to give you a message because you smell their perfume or there's a smell you associate with them that you, comes out of nowhere. Um, Things for legalities look good, but it, it seems like maybe they are uh, going to be going on a little bit. It's not going to, you know, November is not going to be the month that things are settled, um, but it is coming. It is coming. Those of you who have to travel, um, you know, it, it, uh, it actually looks okay. It actually looks okay. I don't see any huge delays if you are traveling in November just for vacation or if you are uh, traveling for the holidays. Um, now, if you're going to someone else's house, Gemini, you may, it, it may be that situation where, oh, God, that person's going to be there. Um, and, it, you know, the Prince of Swords may be coming into play by you telling the host, gosh, is there any way we can get out of... <laughs> I just want it to be nice and I don't want anybody to get into any arguments, but... November, uh, the end, you, you do have the five of rods and uh, it's here in reverse. So, I mean, this indicates that, you know, someone is being wrong-minded and stubborn. Um, this is somebody who is using all of their energy to reinforce something that is not based in truth. It's based in illusion. Going back to this moon card, since Tear is right next to that, um, you know, and the Five of Rods is the is the uh, the card of arguments, disputes. It's a mock battle. It's like you know, fighting with words and and, and things said in anger. So, Gemini, I wish I had a better forecast for you. Last month was pretty good. If you're watching this on October, in October, I would say, you know, enjoy that yummy goodness. Um, because November seems like, um, you know, at least, you know, again, what comes up in these readings doesn't mean your whole month is going to be a struggle and argument after argument. No, this is, this is around one particular situation. You probably already know what it is because, like I said, this is old news. It's just rearing its ugly head, probably because family tends to get together at Thanksgiving. And for those of you who are not planning to do that, you may still hear of an argument or dispute that went on, um, you know, with family. Or, and I feel like it's stemming from someone who is not in their right mind of some, in some way. They're not operating on all cylinders. Uh, they're numbing it either with, uh, with an addiction or they are acting in extremes because they are not, they haven't been properly diagnosed. They haven't talked to someone about this imbalance going on. Um, you know, they, they probably have a disorder or a disease and they need to be properly diagnosed or they have been and they're not following doctor's orders and treating the situation in the correct manner. So there's a secret or something also. There, there may be an element of, of, of hidden mystery, like something that has been hidden by someone coming out. Maybe you didn't know how, how uh, negative this person's situation was maybe maybe it's gotten worse um 
and then everybody's like, you know, trying to put their two cents in, but this person is staunchly opposed or, um, so there will be disagreements, Gemini, um, if you can detach and you are air. So you can detach from your emotions a lot more easily than other people. And I would recommend if you could do that and just, you know, um, detach and fly away like the little child of air that you are. Go, go look at bird signs. <laughs> just be like, yeah, I'm going to go outside. I'm going to go down to the pond and commune with the geese while you all <laughs> work out your issues. Or don't drag me into it, you know. So some of you may just decide not to go to Thanksgiving if that's the way it's going to be. And, um, you know, you may just be hearing about what went on. Uh, so remember, there are so many ways that this can work. Definitely watch the video for your rising sign to get more um, uh, specific information and more messages about how this is going to play out and how it will figure in. And uh, hopefully some better things going on as well in your month of November, Gemini. So Good luck with that. I do wish you uh, a happy holiday if you celebrate uh, Thanksgiving. And I will see you back here in December.